This story is titled, Do You Know Dewey? Exploring the Dewey Decimal System, written by Brian P. Cleary. Illustrations by Joanne Lou Vritoff. And there's a picture of the author in the upper right-hand corner and a few of the other books that he's written. Melville Dewey loved to read when he was very small, but libraries were so mixed up they brought no joy at all. And that's why little Melville would grow up to make a system to organize those stacks of books and classify and list them. The Dewey Decimal System keeps nonfiction in its place. Books are grouped by subjects such as art or outer space. This system mainly covers books on topics that are real, people, things, and places jammed with factual appeal. It shows the zero, zero, zero section, which is information in general works. For instance, if you're searching for a book all by yourself about the internet, you wouldn't look on every shelf. Instead, you'd check the numbers at the ends of all the rows. You want the section labeled with the zeros or the O's. Philosophy and Psychology, 100s. The section marked 100s is the one that you'd look through to find a book that tells us why we act the way we do. It offers books explaining dreams and feelings others tell, of optical illusions or of places ghosts may dwell. Religion, 200. Walk through the 200s and you'll find religion here. Holy books for Christians, Muslims, Jews, and more appear. There are books to help you study, understand, and probe. Beliefs and faiths of people living all around the globe. Social Sciences, 300. Social Sciences are next, and this 300 sections got topics such as government and money and elections. Scouting and the military, books on education, customs, costumes, etiquette, and also transportation. On shelves marked with 400s, you'll see books of every kind. On language, from the written and the spoken to the signed. Look up hieroglyphics and discover what they mean. Perhaps they'll lead you to the tomb of some Egyptian queen. Science, 500s. All of the 500s cover science and mathematics, perfect for both chemistry and algebra fanatics. Along with those enthusiasts of weather birds and bees, dinosaurs, volcanoes, stars and oceans, plants and trees. Applied Science, or Technology, 600s. But what about inventions, pets, our bodies, and disease? Or cooking, the 600s is the home for all of these. Want to know about the parts in each kitchen appliance? For all of this in spaceships too, look here in Applied Science. Arts and Recreation, 700. In Arts, that 700s, you'll find books on figure skating, art and sports and fishing terms like rod and reel and baiting, Motown, Mozart, Ellington, the Beatles and the Blues, along with most activities that you might ever choose. Literature, 800. Peek in the 800s and you'll have all kinds of sightings of works in many languages and many types of writings. Here, speeches, plays, and poetry with something for all ages, along with puns and silly jokes and riddles fill the pages. History and Geography, 900. What's in the 900s? 
It isn't any mystery. It's where you look for both geography and history. Biography and travel, flags and maps of all the nations, tales of knights and castles, and exciting explorations. The Dewey Decimal System uses each distinct division to help you find nonfiction books with speed and with precision. So let the numbers lead you as they guide you through each zone, and you'll be set to travel on some journeys of your own. How to use the Dewey Decimal System? How can you use the Dewey Decimal System to find a book at the library? You have two choices. Let's say you want to find a book about dogs. As you read earlier, books about pets, including dogs, are in the 600 section. So you could go to that section and start looking at books. Or you could use your library's online catalog. You might look up the subject dogs. The catalog will give you a list of books about dogs. It will also give you the call number for each book. A call number is like an address for a book. Your address makes it easy to find your house in your city. A call number makes it easy to find a book in a library. A book's call number is on a label on its spine. It is a three-digit number. There may also be a decimal point and more numbers after the three-digit number. Each digit tells you something about the book. For example, let's look at a book with a call number 636.75 CLE. Here's what each number in the call number stands for. Applied Sciences, Agriculture, Animal Husbandry, and Dogs. The letters after the number are the first letters of the author's last name. For biographies, which are in the 900 section, the call number uses the first few letters of the subject's last name. The call number's first digit tells you which hundred section of the library to look in. The rest of the number tells you where within the section to find the book. Look at the range of call numbers posted at the end of each bookshelf to figure out exactly which shelf to go to. The books on each shelf are organized in numerical order. As you look at a bookshelf, the book with the smallest number is at the top left, and the book with the biggest number is at the bottom right. When Melville Dewey created the Dewey Decimal System, he included places for works of nonfiction and fiction. The section for the fiction is the 800s, but in most modern libraries, the novels and fictional picture books are shelved separately from the nonfiction. The fiction section no longer uses Dewey call numbers. Instead, Fiction books are organized in alphabetical order by the author's last name. Knowing the Dewey Decimal System is like knowing a secret code. Suddenly, the numbers and letters don't seem so random. Instead, they are hints that you get closer and closer to what you want to find out about. The End And there's a picture of our very own Melville Dewey.